for survivors tonight as the death toll from that magnitude 7.1 earthquake in Mexico has risen to 226. This as the country reels from a devastating discovery inside a collapsed school in Mexico City. This heart-wrenching video just into our newsroom as small children are pulled from the rubble of a collapsed school in Mexico City. The bodies of 25 people have been found inside that building, including 20 children and two teachers. Tonight, 30 children and 8 adults are still missing under all of that concrete. Rescuers are working through the night trying to reach anyone who may still be alive. Rescue teams continue to dig as 40% of Mexico City suffers tonight without power. Let's begin our live team coverage with CBS 2's Tom Waite in the newsroom. Tom? And Pat Rick, just a horrific night in Mexico City. Tonight, Mexico's president has called an emergency meeting with his top officials and has sent more than 3,000 soldiers into areas affected by the earthquake. All this as the search for survivors has barely begun. <laughs> Late into the night, rescue crews dig into piles of rubble, trying to find anyone who may have been buried alive. Heavy machinery was brought in to try and plow through the remains of the collapsed buildings. The delicate work of sifting through concrete, wood, and rebar will no doubt go on for hours, if not days. The nightmare of the day started with the massive quake in the afternoon. The tremors took down buildings throughout the city, sending people scrambling into the streets. Those inside office towers also ran outside as the violent shaking continued. <laughs> Debris covered streets and sidewalks. Massive crowds filled the boulevards. Folks too scared to go back inside. When the ground stopped moving, a frantic search for those trapped in piles of rubble began. As the death toll climbs in the wake of this monster quake, Mexico's consul general here in L.A. says his country may need help from the Southland to recover. In the coming hours, very possibly, we will know about uh, in the necessity of international aid and what kind of aid. And Mexico's consul general here in L.A. is also suggesting families searching for loved ones try to use social media, he says, because phone lines in Mexico City and other parts of the country are overloaded. I'm live in the newsroom. Back to you in the studio.